people in aviation have long joked, if it's Boeing, I'm not going. And that line has stuck because it points directly to three everyday frustrations. There's the uneasy shake and trust issue, where passengers wonder if the plane will really hold up. Then there's the frustration of flights ruined by long maintenance holds that knock entire schedules off balance. And of course, there's the deafening noise of traditional turboprops that makes early morning and late night departures nearly impossible. Against that backdrop, Elon Musk has been preparing something entirely different. Tesla's 2026 super electric plane, and unlike the empty promises many have made before, this aircraft is positioned as the real game changer. It addresses exactly those frustrations that have defined short haul flying and could mark the true beginning of the end for Boeing in the regional market. Musk himself once hinted that the exciting thing would be to build an electric vertical takeoff and landing jet, something supersonic, something that doesn't need a long runway, something that simply lifts straight up into the sky. That idea of practicality blended with vision is what Tesla is chasing. Instead of overcomplicating things, they're keeping the promise tight, realistic, and useful. A compact aircraft designed for 4 to 12 passengers, built to serve community routes of up to 500 miles. The turnaround is just 15 minutes thanks to modular battery swapping, which means planes fly more and sit less. The electric motors are nearly silent, opening the door for early morning and late night flight slots that noisy turboprops have been barred from for decades. And because there are far fewer moving parts compared to traditional aircraft, this machine promises factory-like consistency instead of the drama of hangar delays. For everyday travelers, the difference will start in the space they touch. Instead of cramming people into awkward layouts, Tesla's cabin is designed around smart seating ratios, one-to-one -one or two-to-one arrangements that keep the aisle wide enough, 18 to 20 inches, so passengers can actually move comfortably without knocking elbows. The boarding process, too, gets a major upgrade. A large, low-positioned door combined with a short step height turns what is usually a small workout into something you can do with one hand while holding a bag. That same 50 by 50 inch opening is wide enough to swallow standard cargo tubs and even medical stretchers up to 24 inches wide. With quick-release seat rails, the plane can transform from passenger use to cargo or EMS configuration in just minutes, no specialized tools needed. Inside, durability and ease of inspection are prioritized just as much as comfort, Short-haul aircraft rack up flight cycles at a staggering pace, which means fatigue and corrosion are constant threats. Tesla plans a thoughtful mix, corrosion-resistant aluminum for the main structure, lighter composites for fairings, and reinforcements where stress is highest. Joints and seams are placed where mechanics can easily inspect them, not hidden under panels. Recurring inspection points are reachable without tearing apart the interior. Seats and restraint anchors are built to dynamic crash standards rather than just pull tests, meaning passengers' heads and hips are actually protected in the event of a rough landing. The target lifespan isn't measured in months or years, it's tens of thousands of flight hours before the aircraft needs any major structural work. Step outside, and the design itself starts reducing noise before the engines even start. Smooth wings with carefully treated wingtips lower drag and soften the pressure pulses that people usually hear on approach. Fully enclosed landing gear eliminates the whistling and rumble that make most turboprop arrivals so disruptive and the propellers themselves are sized so the tip speed stays below the threshold where high-frequency tones travel far into neighborhoods. Pair all those choices with whisper-quiet electric motors, and community airports can finally gain those hard-to-get early morning and late evening slots. The result is schedule reliability, not just for airlines but for the passengers who depend on them. Beneath the skin, everything is built around one principle, serviceability first, high-use components, like inverters, motor controllers, environmental systems, and avionics, live behind dedicated access panels instead of being buried under trim. Each of them is treated as a line-replaceable unit with keyed, color-coded connectors. A two-person ground crew can swap out a module in five to ten minutes using nothing more than standard tools. QR codes link every part to its digital manual and maintenance history. And the battery system? That's perhaps the boldest part. Instead of one massive slab, the pack is divided into modular blocks. Ground crews can safely unlatch and swap the entire set in about six to eight minutes locking into place with safety interlocks and guides. A full turnaround, deplaning, boarding, battery swap, and automated checks fits cleanly into 15 minutes. This means more flying, less waiting, and a predictable schedule that finally holds. So what does all this mean for short-haul travel? Quite simply, it's about making flying easier, quieter, and cheaper. A guaranteed 15-minute turnaround and a practical 500-mile range create two unshakable levers for airlines. Current regional aircraft often take 25 to 35 minutes just to reset between flights, 
but Tesla's fixed ground routine slashes that almost in half. On short sectors, 250 miles or less, one aircraft can realistically operate 10 to 16 legs in a single day. Stretch the range closer to 500 miles, and it still achieves 6 to 10 daily flights. The critical part is that the process repeats reliably without surprises, keeping timetables intact instead of unraveling midday. For passengers, that reliability translates into real door-to-door -door time savings. Regional drives that take 3 to 5 hours shrink to 90 to 120 minutes including check-in and transfer. Thousands of community airports across the United States sit underused today, and Tesla's quiet, compact aircraft could bring them back to life, serving people directly where they live. Add in quiet motors and aerodynamic shaping, and suddenly early morning and late night slots become legally viable, expanding travel options without clashing with noise regulations. More hours, more flights, better punctuality. Operating costs also shift dramatically. Traditional turboprops burn through 50 to 70 gallons of fuel per hour, costing $225 to $415 just for fuel, before even considering oil and engine wear. Tesla's direct-drive electric motors avoid gearboxes entirely, cutting out vibration, moving parts and complicated inspections. Efficiency levels of 90-95% to 95 mean that nearly all of the stored energy turns into thrust instead of wasted heat. Even with four independent motors, one can be shut down mid-flight without compromising safety, keeping minor faults from ruining entire schedules. On energy, Tesla targets pack densities of 360 to 380 watt-hours per kilogram, totaling 600 to 900 kilowatt-hours of usable energy. That equates to the power of six to nine long-range electric cars, but in an aircraft form factor weighing under three tons. Liquid cooling keeps the battery stable between 15 and 35 degrees Celsius, while the battery management system carefully controls charge cycles to stretch usable life to 1,500 to 2,000 cycles, enough for years of daily service. During the day, crews swap packs in minutes to keep flying, Overnight, DC fast charging at 600 to 1000 kilowatts restores full energy in 36 to 60 minutes, when time and electricity are both cheaper. And because the electronics are built fault-tolerant, with dual inverters and split DC buses, small glitches don't cascade into big failures. Any issue is isolated to one branch, while line-replaceable modules can be swapped in minutes. The result, downtime measured in minutes, not days. Energy costs are the clincher. At U.S. electricity prices of 12 to 18 cents per kilowatt hour, a one-hour flight consumes 24 to 54 dollars in direct energy. Compare that to hundreds of dollars in jet fuel for the same distance, and the savings become undeniable. Even after factoring in battery depreciation, Tesla projects operating costs 15 to 25 percent lower than turboprops after just a year or two of steady service. But this is about more than just maintenance or energy bills. It's about unlocking a structural shift away from legacy aircraft in short-haul markets. Tesla's plane thrives on underserved community-to-city corridors. With its compact 4-12-seat cabin, ultra-fast boarding and consistent 15-minute turns, it can operate like a shuttle, frequent, reliable, and priced for everyday use. Off-peak hours open opportunities for cargo or emergency medical service runs, made possible by the easy reconfiguration of the cabin and the quiet all-electric operation, consider the economics. On a 500-mile leg with 10 seats and an 85% load factor, the aircraft carries about 9 paying passengers. Cruise time is around 2.5 hours at 200 miles per hour. Energy consumption is roughly 650 kilowatt hours, costing just $78 at night rates. Add $20 to $40 for small airport landing fees, plus $35 to $55 for routine wear and maintenance, and the total direct cash cost per flight falls between $133 and $173. That's about $15 to $119 pots dollars per passenger before crew and insurance. With that baseline, Airlines can comfortably advertise $99 to $139 fares at peak times and still undercut driving costs with off-peak fares of $79 to $89. Once travelers experience quiet, affordable, and reliable electric hops, demand shifts naturally. Airlines chasing both passengers and profit will tilt their short-haul investments toward the Tesla model. Within 12 to 24 months of steady service, total cost of ownership can fall by 25 to 30 percent, cementing electric as the growth path. This is exactly where Boeing risks losing ground. By not innovating fast enough in short haul, they risk seeding the most profitable new routes to an upstart with sharper economics. Imagine it, thousands of small airports buzzing again, schedules that run on time because turnarounds are predictable, flights that are so quiet they don't disrupt neighborhoods, and ticket prices that make flying cheaper than driving. That's not science fiction, it's the practical promise of Tesla's super electric plane. So here's the question, would you choose this kind of short haul experience? Would you switch from a long drive or a frustrating turboprop hop if Tesla's plane could move you for under $100, quietly and on time? If your answer is yes, comment Tesla ePlane or Tesla Wins below. And if you want more detailed coverage like this updates, route breakdowns, and cost checks, subscribe to Westech and help us reach our next milestone of 175,000 subscribers. Turn on notifications so you never miss an update.
and tell us in the comments which route should Tesla revive first and what fare would make you leave the car behind. Short haul is about to feel entirely different and you can help shape the conversation.